What's up you guys? This is Code Man. I just wanted to go over a few things with you guys. For those of you trying to make it to the NBA 2K League, they just released some news about the NBA 2K League Combine, which is going to be the next step in the process. And I know a lot of you guys have some questions, so I just wanted to kind of help you clear some things up to the best of my ability. Feel free to add any questions or comments down below, and I hope you enjoy the video. The NBA 2K League Combine will begin on February 2nd and last until February 21st, which is a little less than three weeks. And everyone who got their 50 wins, they'll see a new menu option that will say NBA 2K League Combine that you can join. Now, if you didn't know already, you must be at least 18 years old this calendar year. They also have a weird statement in there, but basically it says your graduating class, whether you graduated or not, has to have already graduated this year, basically. Now, you also must fill out an online application, which has not been released yet. It says it will be released this sometime during February, so keep your eye out for that. The NBA 2K League will draft six players for each of the 17 total teams, which will be 102 total players. Not sure how many people are going to be competing, but there are over 30,000 followers on their Twitter page. So in those three weeks of February, you must play a minimum of 40 games with your player. While using traditional Pro-Am rules, there's going to be four six-minute quarters instead of their usual five-minute quarters per game. And just like Pro-Am, if you foul out, they're going to switch you to an AI player. You will get five archetypes for each position to choose from. So you have less archetypes than what you're used to. You may not be able to use the same archetypes that you've been, used, been using, you know? So read carefully and choose carefully which one you want to use, because this is what you're going to be using for the whole 40 games. You only get to choose one, as far as I know. The point guard archetypes that you'll be able to choose from are shot creating slasher, shot creating sharpshooter, slashing playmaker, sharpshooting playmaker, and playmaking shot creator. Your shooting guard archetypes will be playmaking slasher, sharpshooting defender, slashing shot creator, sharpshooting shot creator, and a pure sharpshooter. Your small forward archetypes will be shot creating slasher, sharpshooting shot creator, pure sharpshooter, slashing defender, and sharpshooting slasher. As for your power forwards, you're going to have a slashing rim protector, rebounding athletic finisher, slashing post score, two-way rebounder, and a sharpshooting rim protector. And last but not least, we have the center archetypes, which are going to be post scoring athletic finisher, slashing rebounder, pure rim protector, slashing stretch five, and rebounding post score. Once you choose an archetype, all players will start at a 90 overall, and each archetype will have preset badges and stats, but I believe you can upgrade them. Your player will automatically be generated for you based off of which archetype you choose to play with. So what that tells me is you're not going to be able to use your own face scans or whatever you've done to your face and your hair, so just accept it. Combine will match you up with other players who qualified for the Combine in January. You will not be able to go into games with preset teams or squads. You will be playing with random people at your position. Keep in mind it just says you have to play 40 games. So it may not be as important to win or lose, but it's how you're going to be playing the game that they're going to be looking for. During the Combine, the NBA 2K League will measure high-level statistics such as points, rebounds, and assists, as well as more in-depth statistics such as shot release time, pass to assist, and block efficiency. So they're going to have stats for absolutely everything, and they're going to have some machine, computer, or person tally up everything you've done, your percentages. So in other words, you need to be on top of your game the entire time. There will not be a leaderboard, however, Participants will be able to view statistics and VOD video on demand highlights of their games throughout the combine. So that's something cool they're adding to it. So you won your 40 games and you played great. What's next? The league will continue its analysis of gameplay and qualitative data in the weeks following the combine. 
players in consideration for the draft pool will be contacted to complete additional steps. So in other words, even after the February, those three weeks are over, they're still going to be looking at the data and looking at all the players. Who knows how long it's going to take, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to be contacted probably with the information you filled out when you applied. That's how you'll be contacted. So anyway, I hope this clears a little bit up for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you know anything else that I didn't mention, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great week, and good luck.